Hey everyone, I'm getting ready to tackle this large jewelry box. I've got some legs to put on, some decoupage decisions to make, and a giveaway to tell you all about in just a few minutes. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting off by taking off all the handles so I can get a really good clean. But you may have noticed that one of the handles on the front is completely broken, which is a huge bummer because now they're not all going to be matching. And to replace all these teeny tiny little handles would be a pain. So I've decided I'm just going to replace the ones on the side with something different and move one of these into the broken handle position so that we'll have matching out here and matching down. It'll definitely save me the cost of the hardware in the long run. So I'm going to keep what I can and find little baby knobs, perhaps, for out here. Now that the main bulk of prep work is done, it's time for me to make the decision that I've been putting off. Do I want to go with a dark, elegant vibe or a light and airy feel? I haven't been able to make up my mind and that's why I have these two vastly different decoupage papers. But in the end, the winner is going to be the black with flowers and that's the direction we're going to go. Now I can focus on the legs of this poor jewelry box. It has received what appears to be numerous fixes over the years and I'm going to have to, well, undo these fixes. There is a whole lot of stapling and glue going on here so I'm going to disassemble the entire thing, carefully marking where each piece goes so that it fits in correctly when I'm all done. I'm going to scrape back all the old glue, remove all the old staples, and start fresh. Well, actually I'm going to hand the mess over to my husband and give him a big smile and say pretty please. And he'll give it back to me all fixed. Thank you, Andrew. So I hope you're just as excited about the giveaway as I am. The first part is going to be the decoupage paper that we used today. And I bought two of them at the same time. I'm going to be sending it to one of you. And the second part is Super Clean reached out to me and asked if I would like to do a giveaway on my channel. Which, of course I would. So not only will you be getting that decoupage paper, but Super Clean is going to be sending you some of its cleaners. Now, I've been using this on my furniture the last month or so, and I really have liked it as a cleaner degreaser. I have watered it down in a separate bottle, three parts water to one part of the Super Clean. Now, the only thing is you have to live within the 48 continental states. So if that's you and you're a subscriber to the channel, which... If you're not already, go ahead and click the subscribe button because we have a lot of fun around here. I post every Wednesday with a new makeover and <laughs> what's not to love? So if you're subscribed, you're in the 48 continental United States, go ahead and comment down in the comment section, giveaway. That's all you need to do. Of course, if you hit the thumbs up button on this video, I'd appreciate it, but just go ahead and comment giveaway and I will enter your name into the drawing to win the cleaner and the decoupage paper. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, we can continue on with our paint. I have Bear's Chalk Paint. You can get this mixed in almost any color down at the Home Depot for around $20 a quart. And the color I have today is called Classic Noir. I hope I'm saying that right, but I've used it many times. This is probably my third can of it, and it goes a long ways. 
but it's not a true black black. After top coating it, it will get a little bit darker, but it's not the blackest black I've ever used, so keep that in mind if you want to use it. I'll be putting two coats of this over the entire piece, even the front where I intend on putting the decoupage, just so when everything's said and done and the decoupage is all cut out and in place, if there are any rips or tears along the way or anything else showing, it'll be that dark black that'll blend in perfectly. Okay, so you're probably wondering, where's the tutorial on how to put the decoupage paper on? Well, I'm not really going to show you all that because I kind of needed five arms and I only had two of my own and I couldn't film at the same time and it was kind of messy. So if you're looking for a, a decoupage tutorial, you might want to look somewhere else because this didn't go 100% well. I ended up with a lot of wrinkles that I had to iron out after I cut all the many pieces like around the doors and the drawers and there was just a lot of cutting to do and it was a very curved uneven surface which made things a little bit of a disaster but I recovered mostly. <laughs> I'm using the same clear coat from Country Chic that I used to glue down the decoupage as my top coat sealer. I only got one coat on by the time this video was f needing to go out, so I'll be putting on the second coat a little bit later. Now for the handles, I first painted them black and then went over them with some of this gold decor wax in the color Eternal. A little bit of this wax goes a long way and I normally use it all over my piece, but I'm sticking with just the handles today. I figured if there was any place in town to find the little knobs that I needed for the side wing doors for my jewelry box, it would be Hobby Lobby. And as luck would have it, they were even having their 50% off knob sale. The smallest thing they had available was a little brass knob there with the indents and I hated it. And these crystal knobs may have been an option if I had gone with light and airy, but they definitely are not going to work with what I have. So for now, those doors are going to have no knob, but I will be searching and purchasing the perfect ones in the days to come. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments what you think of it and if you would have rather seen the other decoupage paper. I still have it, so we'll probably still use it on a project someday, so make sure you're subscribed so that you won't miss it when we finally get around to it. Until next time, I'm Sarah with our furniture flipping adventure. Goodbye for now.